Uh, we have the winners of Group B this time in Sparking Arrow Gaming versus Boom, the second place. <laughs> of group a so man specter not having the best of a game so far for dream of cell uh with all that pressure going in only six last hits and i guess likewise that's sort of mirrored by god king here uh just eight no at the early going and hyde has gotten a lot of those other last hits stolen away whether denies or what have you and venge caught up and killed in that top lane we'll play it. Right, well, hopefully he recognizes that and takes the second point in the queue i think that might be the play tough otherwise and they have the centaur conqueror as well to help with the uh cloak aura as well as we'll find the cookie on the dream of cell up top but no follow-up afterwards september needs some more mana but in trouble dd just dies mid solo kill diving makoto and that gives earn charges as well and i mean the other thing to keep in mind here is you've got a very farmed Beastmaster, a fairly farmed invoker but it's what Chen. the dude what? he's a meteor hammer done okay what? Okay. That's a thing. And it lands. And they're going to kill him. <laughs> right. OP God indeed. Kezcute is there along with Makoto trying to find OP God, who's hiding off to the side here. Smoke will break in just some. They ping. They know. <laughs> they know. They they are very aware. It yeah, looks the like. smoke pings. And oh, Ooh. hello. Hi, friend. Do you like to give me your mana? Big old roar going to land there. Necro books on top of him, and no amount of meteor hammers are going to save his life. Well, certainly not. And so that's two more charges now picked up from Makoto, which is why the focus is so good from Boom to go up there and do that. No. But maybe they need to be like kind of thinking about this. Sparking Arrow Gaming is like, all right, who would they want to target right now? As he goes over the chrono, he catches him with just the tip. Oh, and Mortimer's Kisses comes on out at the end. Makoto, though, trying to live. Oh, my God, the regen invoker oh, almost gets away. Sentry. Yeah. Like, why is that there? Who cares? Thank you, Sentry. <laughs> uh, Lich Void, good lane, but you're Chen Beastmaster. These two heroes are insane together. I really think that Boom are just going to run the table with him right now. Like, I, I don't know how you deal with all of this. Swap. Meanwhile, the Haunt comes in afterwards. They blow up the DP. Now OP God trying to run away. Has the Meteor Hammer back up as well as the ulti, but... I don't remember the last time I saw a zoo strat. Yeah, it's working quite well, though. And they kill off September afterwards. There's so many summons. Like, this is insanity. Look at all these creeps. Like it is a four thousand gold lead, but I mean, guess guess the the percentage right now on Dota Plus. Oh, ooh, okay, uh, eighty-seven, eighty-nine. You're close. Oh man, I'm getting closer. Yep. Meanwhile, the roar gonna be used. Sunstrike afterwards, bringing him on down dead. One last clap from Hyde, and FBZ gets the kill. But with well, this Aegis, like this game is just falling off the rails. I didn't know Roche held block parties. This is so nice. Do them. And Mr. God King will be heading out. Not going to catch him with the Orchid. They have mechanism done for September. The smoke up afterwards. I don't know if they're going to find anybody. Instead, DD dodges the ice wall. And by dodges, I mean Makoto missed it. Fine. Guess Q. They get vision. Swap out. Got him caught. Meanwhile, the haunt afterwards jumping onto Rip Panda. Chain Frost bouncing around a couple of times and the Jumpkin God King. I don't think he's got a chrono on anybody. Meanwhile, the roar is going to blow up that DP. The Meteor Hammer going to land, but the swap out Venge keeping the Spectre alive. And now the turn onto the Faceless Void. He's going to get the cookie away, but eventually falls September. Next one to go down to FBZ Zoo. They just five man from the start of the game and they run around taking the towers and it feels like there's nothing you can do until you play them like the third time <laughs> on a cold winter's night at like Tuesday at 2 a.m. when you just want to play one more game and they're there again, but then you figured out how the strat works. I am that That's snack. what they're in the process of getting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try to find now the snap fire, seeing if they can get him. God King completely under control. All of his man is gone. And now FBZ is just going to beat him down. Although the arena goes down, trying to dodge away. Chain Frost bouncing between the boars, moving in with Didi. The rest of them is nearby. They're not killing him. They don't have anything. Look at this. Lich is all alone as well. September isolated. And now they don't have supports nearby. Didi barely going to get out of there. 
Yeah, the Chen is about to be like the, the other thing is that like they, they just they don't take damage, it feels like, on boom. Um God, why why did this stop being good? Oh no, God King's dead again. Orchid and then the haunt in, and now looking for more afterwards. They could go on the Death Prophet, but she has a Yule Scepter. Goes back for the silence. That was a mistake. As they are going to hit the Sun Strike and they are going to destroy DD. And we've seen it from Edge too. Like this idea of just these creeps in the lane are so hard to deal with. Yeah. They killed two of them, but they'll have more in just a little bit as they take down the ranged racks. And I guess the changes that came about, it was mainly like making the towers better, if I remember right. Like they had more armor, it was harder to kill them. But this is showing that like this strategy is still viable if people overcommit to not have wave clear. Well, and also just kind of go all in on the strat. As God King just runs into them. Or <laughs> is that a mana? Look at the damage! They're right, stacking that so fast. Oh, my God. He gets the meteor hammer hit onto all of them. That's pretty nice. But the rest are moving in afterwards. And, well, OP God is going to die. Tornado lift up, catches on to both of the supports. The ice wall down as well. Where are you left to go? I think they're done. Yeah, GG. It's over. Well, that was pretty enjoyable. Uh, I mean, yeah. for a stompy game, I, I was mostly just impressed and, and enjoyed seeing that uh, boom. And I am not giving them Chen or maybe Beastmaster. I think Chen was actually more important personally. Our ladies and gentlemen on potentially the verge of the final game of the night, depending on how these two teams work it out could be a, a nice early way to make the the game like an early rotation and i guess the flip side of that is that if you really want to get an early rotation for a tower kill it might be good just to kill the timber saw uh which you might need more of that magical damage to deal with is hide in some trouble gonna get rooted but the leash not able to keep him alive op god making the plays and well still trying to stand tall okay, against this, this one beaten away fairy fire kill and now turns onto red panda red panda barely able to keep his life so it feels like they're just giving god king the shit stick yeah like, man like he's got an abba support in lane versus the timber he's just jungling top be god jump in pounce kill played so slurk's getting kills god king not so much dream of self not gonna be brought oh, down man. either Well, all right, wait. this time, surely he's dead, right? Well, Timber Chain, Chrono used. Do they have the damage to bring him down, though? Has stick charges afterwards. Stun is there, and yes, they will be able to get the kill onto FBZ. As top lane, pops the ulti on Dreamo Cell. Echo Slam used the damage coming out. He's enough. They get the finish. Oh, boom. You guys are overextended. And yeah, some good and some bad. Now, Kezcute also going to be found and killed. Well, uh, we'll see if it ends up working for him. The other sort of wrinkle to all of this is going to be hide to try and save people, turn things back around. They do get Red Panda, and it looks like he's going to be vacuumed and pulled back in. And a little sleight of fist, Chakram. Are they really not going to get him? Yeah, they got him. Uh, okay. After the fortune's then he was just saving the uh, Iron Shell and the Surge until he used it. God King doing it as well, but by virtue of the Battle Fury after the treads. And a lot of heroes moving to the side. They do have Chronosphere available. Jump in, find themselves the Lesh. Everybody TPing into position, thinking about the Chrono. With a jump five. through and Makoto chasing, trying to find the finish. They get the Frostbite and that's gonna be enough. Double kill on the two cores. Beautifully played by Boom. And can they find any more? Sleight of Fist has another remnant. Not gonna use it yet. Uh, granted, these heroes, particularly the Timber, do fall off as the game goes later and later. And they're looking to dunk him right now. Yeah, this got is nine stacks. And this is the blink reveal. Looking for him. FBZ spots one, jumps away. Av Echo, this should be a finish. I didn't even need it. Yep, good call. Played. But with FBZ standing tall in the mid lane, it does look like they're going to be well set up to secure the last of the tier one towers on the outside they still have blink echo available and shell and fbz keeps on punching it looking for that opening now trying to tp in afterwards control is there 
But do they have anything else afterwards? Trying to bring him down. Timbersaw is going to fall. And on the other side, trying to get the bashes on to hide, he also goes down. Keskut's in trouble. Dream of Cell could go in, but that would just be a death warrant. Didn't even Didn't need the echo. Just respawn. <laughs> I Poor feel guy. like he, he was, he just came out of the well. I mean, at least for the moment, Sparking Air Gaming not feeling entirely comfortable taking the fight. I'm a bit surprised. And Deso hits onto two. Now Remnant forward finding one, immediately taking off the flame guard, but some good damage there. Echo, no, it didn't end up doing enough, but he still had Makoto caught. Now the ulti coming out from Keskut up on the high ground, trying to kill this flesh track and they will bring him down chrono is gonna land now bringing off the ember so that's a buyback coming from the oracle as dreamless cell just keeps on beating away on the back lines gets false promise saved can they find any more afterwards the wall is dropped down and looks like abba is going to pop so they managed to trade it two for two to two for three with a buyback fpz is making mango smoothies but fpz tons of damage in that fight God King has only just now finished. Oh, they're not quite done. Oh, Fury, and they jump on him, pounce afterwards. He's just dead. Unbelievable. Wow, thousand pure damage from Timber. Jeez. And a smoke up afterwards. They, they, they want to keep this going. Uh, he just popped all three mangoes again. Yeah. Why not? They don't have to go back. Uh, again, this is all the Crystal Maiden, too. Yes. And they jump on September 1st. Invis for the moment, but they still got him caught. Pops the ulti now afterwards. DD is doing a good amount of damage, but they can't get the save out from Red Panda. As they're chasing them down. OP God under fire. Chase from FPZ as well. Keskute is going to catch him with the Frost Blast. Oh, and again, man. all five dead. Never going home. Dude, uh, he had Scotty queued up, but now queuing up the BKB instead. Feels like Boom just want to end this game in a very quick fashion, if possible. It's tough because it's not that much damage into the Chrono unless the less track is like directly next to it, but it is enough damage to kill uh, the Ember or the Slayer. Mostly the Ember. The Ember is still pretty weak, no. but his BKB will be here shortly. And of course, he has oh, the too, so you don't really want to Chrono him. And oh, that's a Bash. The no, bash. that's more Bashes. Ooh. But the Yules keeping him alive for the moment. Echo's there again afterwards. But FBZ, the vacuum wall pulls back onto Doom, trying to control him. It's not out yet. They have Chrono, but they don't want to use it on FBZ. And the stacks are adding up too. And now he can't search. even Chrono him. Oh, it's a problem. Makoto chasing him on down. They got the illusion. His teammate is going to beat him down to death. They bring him down. September ulti pops. Meanwhile, off to the side, they do drop the big old combo onto Kezcute, killing him off. But they see them all moving in here. And we'll see if Sparking Out Gaming want to come and contest it all. It, it does not appear to be the case. No, they needed like a haste rune or something bottom. They're not going to make it here in time. Oh, well, if they start coming up the prep, they will. Okay, moving in. Roche, very, very low. They dropped the Chrono onto the CM as well as the Timber, but the Aegis is already there. Vacuum wall onto four. It's a big combo coming out. FBZ jumps over to the side. The Echo Slam is going to catch now onto Makoto. He remnants through them all. Has that BKB available? Going to pop it immediately. Turn now onto Red Panda. God King looking for the back, gets the batch. Meanwhile, the Slight of Fist jumps away again. Well, DD doing what he can against Makoto. The chase down, they want this kill desperately, but the chakra and the leash, Dream of Cell finds his man. They take down the three cores and only the sad and despondent supports left as they kill off Brutal. September, but they can't quite get the Oracle. Now, if they feed some kills, wow, FPC's going for the top lane too? Okay, these guys are crazy. I mean, he's got a crack. I guess they have the ages, so. Yeah. If not now, then when? They don't have Chrono again for 50 seconds. I don't know if they can fight. Slowly and steadily trying to beat them down. Remnants off to the side. DD moving in, trying to get Makoto. FBZ kills off the Oracle. Makoto going to drop. But now the big combo comes out. Back you fall yet oh, again. That's, that's nice. Pitching onto them all. They can't quite bring down September. But DD saved for the moment by Red Panda. It's eventually going to be a dead Slark, but he'll do a good amount of damage before he ends up falling in the end. Dead for 70 seconds. And now the lift up onto God King. 20 until Chrono, root there onto two. And in the meantime, up on the top side, Dreamacell just keeping his eyes on the prize. 
and killing off these racks. Well, it doesn't matter how well you push me, just keep slaying all the enemies and you, you know, have a giant lead for 32 minutes. That, that certainly helps. So like what? They're so ridiculously farmed. CM's catching up to Shaker. And Makoto, ready to jump at a moment's notice. Hello, Mr. God King. How are you today? Chrono. Oh no. Oh no, he's stuck. Oh god, he's in trouble. He's, he's in back. a lot of trouble. Echo to try and save it ain't gonna help. They bring him down. They kill off OP afterwards. Chrono will not save you. Kez cute, trying to stand toe to toe. The Yule Scepter lift up and I'll see him bald again. But I think it's gonna be all worth it in the end. DD will fall. And the pounce forward, looking for more, but GG is called. Boom, 2-0 for the Sparkling Arrow Gaming Squad. Damn, boom, look at this. Oh, well done to them, taking it in dramatic fashion. Absolutely. For SAG, well, mostly game one being dramatic. This one, uh, a little bit 